Hello everyone, this is Josh. This is a video serial request for my Voron 2.4. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about me building this machine and um, either some of the challenges I had or why I built it, etc. So, the reason I built a Voron 2.4 uh, is because I've built sort of crappy printers in the past that I've designed myself. Um, I have a uh, any cubic predator delta printer. Um, this was the first printer I bought. Um, so I have an existing printer. I already have built some of my own designs which weren't very good. Um, but I was learning a lot during the whole process and the one of the printer types that I've been very interested in is a Core XY. And seeing some videos on the Voron and its features, how it's put together, uh, the fact that it's very well engineered, um, I just went for it and decided to um, uh, source the parts and build it. Now, while I was sourcing the parts, I realized that probably the cheapest way to go uh, for decent parts is the Formbot kit. Other people seem to think so as well, so that's what I went for. I tried to get individually sourced parts or various parts from different stores myself to get it cheaper, but I could not get a better deal. They're obviously bundling things. They're obviously saving on doing things in bulk. Um, so this was the uh, cheapest way but it still came with decent parts from from what I know um, so it's pretty good so that's the way I went uh, this is the form bot kit um, it's a 350 dimension um, uh, forum and uh, yeah so as I said I've built a few other printers and I thought that since I had done that uh, I know <laughs> I know enough about some printers to probably assemble this thing easily. It took me probably 30 to 40 hours to put it together. Um, very slow, but uh, and it was quite challenging for me. But I learned a lot while doing it. Um, I so there were some parts of it where you know you'd be putting something together and you'd say, why did they design it like this? But once you have the parts together you say oh that's why right this makes a lot of sense some of it's trickier to put together i wonder if there's some improvements that could be done there um but none that i can think of i'm not a good designer but uh yeah it's overall once it's together you realize why things were the way they were and uh it works great so a few prints that i have off of this machine um, and I'll get to talking about the uh, cooling in a moment. Uh, I haven't printed too much. I've printed some large things. So um, this is a uh, Skull Kid um, from Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. And um, it's printed in wood PLA. Some of the imperfections in it would have come from that wood PLA. It really needs to be baked before use. Um, and uh, it's... Uh, has that rougher appearance but so none of some of that's not related to the printer but the printer also did a great job at printing this off um this is the uh patreon where i got the models from um, um studios uh they release uh four models every month so it's pretty good it's a pretty good deal this is the mask that printed with it um it does have a stand but uh i wanted it to be a separate piece um, printed some overhang tests. Of course, you have to print the uh, Benji boat, and it came off really good. Um, I brought this right upstairs with my girlfriend right after. I was like, oh my god, look at this Benji boat. She's seen hundreds of them before, right? <laughs> uh, as I've annoyed her with them, but uh, this one is definitely for a first Benji boat right off. It was great. Um, this was my second cube. I was using some uh, throwaway filament or the end of some of the spools. Um, this, the imperfections in this is this, this 
filaments really junk. Uh, I just wanted to see that it was printing just fine and I ran out at this point so it's printing pretty good. After that I moved on to uh, actual full spillment, fil filament roll, spillment roll, filament roll, <laughs> and this is the results I got. When I measured the dimensions on this, I ended up getting, uh, I think it was 29.9, 29.9 on the sides, and uh, just over, just a tad over 30 on the height. So that's very, very, uh, very accurate. Um, I was printing new cooling ducts for it, so this was one of the parts that came off from it. I've also printed parts for it as well. The handles on top were printed with it. Um, I believe the black one. I did uh, one on my uh, Predator and one on um, this at the same time to save time. Part of the reason for having two printers is I can save a bunch of time printing stuff concurrently. Now, when I um, printed the parts for this originally. I um, I did it with my uh, Predator, of course, and I also did it with my uh, Chair Child 3D printer, which is a custom one, um, which I won't show right now, but it's I have some other videos on it. It's not too great, but it did print uh, all the brims for this, so I did a lot of the big non-functional parts with it. Uh, some of this is PLA, which I know is frowned upon. Uh, the reason I did it is for non-functional parts would be PLA. Um, functional parts or parts that would be towards heat, I did with PETG because it's what I had and um, I've printed with PETG before. I've never actually printed with ABS, so since I have this enclosure, I'm now going to start printing with ABS or try it out at least. Um, so this will be my first dive into doing it. Um, now the problems I had with uh, PETG, my bed on my Predator stopped sticking like crazy. I could not get things to stick. I used tape, I used um, glue stick, everything. Uh, th this bed warps like crazy. This circular bed, it's uh, bed leveling doesn't work on it. It's, Ugh, it's disgusting. I need to replace this in some manner. It's actually, ironically, after I got the Voron set up, it started working better. So, um, that's good, I guess, but maybe it warped back into place. Um, but anyways, the, the PTG parts that I printed, um, they warped crazy. So, like, this one pot cracked, the, the first layer cracked off it. Some of the parts are just warped, like you can see down here. This is warped, that was the base. One of the things though that I noticed, and I, I don't know if it was intentional, um, but it makes a lot of sense. The Voron design team, they designed the parts so that most of the functional ends of the parts are on the top and not on the bottom. So if you have imperfections in your base, your bed's not level, that doesn't seem to affect how the parts marry together or where they have their functional components. So for example, this is on the top, that's on the side. The only problem with this being warped here is um, the uh, tensioner doesn't touch it properly. And I just knocked out my door holder. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna reprint these parts. Uh, I, I wanted to get the machine together. So anything that was obviously completely terrible, I didn't use, but everything that came off usable I did use and I'm going to start reprinting the components in ABS when I get a few spools of it. Um, one other thing, so I'm used to printing PLA. Uh, I've got on my Predator, I've got uh, the 5015 fans. Um, the cooling on that thing is great. Um, the cooling on this, the base cooling for PLA, eh, not too great, uh, at least not in my opinion. So uh, I know that there are, um, I think it's uh, Bad Noob it has a design out for the 50, um, 50 15s to go into the base here, but I wanted to, I like to tinker with stuff, so I decided to go into the CAD models and design some myself. 
And by design, I mean I took the existing model and I cut it up. So my first attempt was this one here. And this attempt was to um, put the 50-50s and 15s in the front like so and point it down. Now that worked. Um, I got a lot better cooling quality just from doing that. Um, the problem with that is these things were sticking out the front and they wouldn't let me close the door. Or when I'd home it, it would just swing the door open um, crazy fast. So that was a bit of a problem there. Um, but I did have them on an angle so that they wouldn't interfere with the um, uh, sideways, right? So the carriage was still snug this direction. And that's what I had planned for. And that's why I angled them. Um, and if I had left them flat, then they would have interfered with the X and Y or A and B, right? So that's so why I didn't want to do that. Um, so my next option is what I've done now, which is set them back. And to me, um, this looks like a mouse. So it's got mouse ears on top and I put two little Voron icons for eyes. Um, sort of like a mouse. Uh, I think it looks like one. Uh, tell me in the comments if you think so too. Uh, my girlfriend does not think it does. Um, but, so I'm gonna call it probably like the mouse head uh, blower or something like that. Um, my tests came off for it. Let's see if I can catch this on camera. Um, so I believe here is the stock and then here is with the um, mouse and this last one this is uh, what I'll talk about in a second this is the stock um, cooling ducts um, I wanted to replace them because I didn't like how low they were I don't like um, how close they are to the bed mainly because I can't see it um, I like to be able to see under the the hot end while it starts to see how the print starts off eventually this thing will be you know once you get tuned in you'll be able to leave it and not care but I wanted to be able to see that so um, and also if any part like sort of fails and peels up a little bit ducts like this tend to whack the part off right and that's no good so um, again, once it's tuned, that shouldn't be a real problem, but right now it's bugging me a bit. So I wanted to design a better one or not a better one, one that's higher and still provides the cooling. So this last test result here, um, is not as good. I think it's still better than stock by a little bit. So it's in between. Um, and that's what I've got on there right now. That's going with a, um, this is kind of half the design I printed off to test it. Um, basically, uh, let me flip it. if I flip them the same way, it'd be helpful. Basically, it's higher up, uh, and it uses the, the effect where the wind clings to the side to shoot down underneath. Um, I just don't think I have it long enough. I think I need to make it a little bit longer based on a water test I did, checking where it was hitting. It's just off by a bit, so I think if I get that right, I'll get the best of both worlds, hopefully. But either way, the uh, 5015s improved cooling uh, by a great amount, so I'm uh, very happy with that. I'm very happy with the bed on this thing. Uh, I'm not sure if this is official, but uh, Formbot said this with um, Boron Design on it. Um, I think it looks great. I don't know if it's officially uh, approved by the Moron team, but it's a nice touch. Um, all the other components, if you look up a Formbot kit unboxing, um, it's pretty much the same as what everybody else has out there. It's an octopus board. It's, um, it, it's got the same rails based on their other printers they sell. Uh, I like the parts. Um, for me, I wasn't looking at something out of my price range, so 
uh, it was still pretty expensive, but for what you get, I thought it was a good deal. Um, I'm not familiar with extremely high quality parts. I don't have any Iwin rails on other printers. and um, Actually, this is my first time using linear rails, and now I have the craving to upgrade this printer. So we'll see about that. Um, what else am I going to do to this thing? Uh, so now uh, it's going to be the never-ending upgrades. Um, now it, it, I'll be printing models and fun stuff um, now and then, but I'll upgrade it. Uh, I need to redo the wiring. I don't like it. Um, both here, this is a little bit messy. I tried to clean it up as best as, as I can, but um, the wiring here should be cleaned up. The wiring underneath is even worse. Um, I'll have to arrange that better. I want to set up the Pi with um, uh, a relay to turn this off and on from upstairs. I want to upgrade the screen. Even though you don't really need it, I'm used to having uh, the TFT24s on my other printers. Um, and I just like the graphic UI, but it doesn't need it because the web UI, I'm using mainsail. Uh, it's great. Uh, and now I also want to get a Pi or use a computer uh, connected to this other printer long term. So this uh, printer has really opened me up for, uh, well, it's opened up my pockets for other printers, uh, which could either be unfortunate or uh, it's a fun thing for a hobby, right? Um, enclosures. So my other printer, I did have an enclosure for this one that I built, which was essentially um, these uh, plastic sidings and it kind of went over it like a box. Um, I took it off for maintenance purposes as I was doing stuff and it was annoying me, so I took it off. But uh, I waited to get this one to print the Majora Mask model because uh, it had an enclosure and a uh, filter in the back because this stuff stinks really bad. Um, I do not like printing with it. I, I like the results. I don't like printing with it. So I was waiting for this enclosure to be set up before I started doing that. That's why it was one of the first models I did on here. Um, and the carbon filter, it works decently. Maybe it's the filter I have in there. Uh, I used the, the combination of what they gave plus a carbon filter from um, Amazon that I bought. Um, so it's not just the cheap one that came with this, it's both. The smell still gets through uh, to some degree, especially this stuff. So it was kind of a good use case of extremes. But um, I do have a uh, giant fan up here where I bend out the window. So that's, um, I'll be using that and I might just directly hook it up to the back in the end. I do have a Raspberry Pi camera. If anybody has suggestions of where to mount the camera, um, I've mounted it on the back because it rises with it and I can see under it to see if it failed. Uh, originally I had it on the top, but you can't really see if it, your print failed or um, this extruder jammed a few times, uh, my fault. So I couldn't tell that it was just, you know, printing in air. I was like, oh yeah, camera, it's good. Uh, <laughs> it's moving. But uh, yeah, I wanted to see the print itself. So yeah, uh, so it's a really good printer. Uh, it's almost as fast as my Delta in terms of uh, speeds I want to bring it to, but it's way higher quality prints in my opinion. So I can go faster with this guy, but the prints on this tend to come out at a higher quality. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching my video, uh, and hopefully I get my serial request. Uh, this has been a fun project, and I uh, can't wait to keep tweaking it and playing with this printer. Thanks to the Voron team, uh, it's excellent.